Hello and welcome back. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I like to show you how I do my fluid art on different size canvases, different techniques, blah blah blah. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. Today I'm going to be doing a flip cup inspired by Karen at Waterfall Acrylics. I do have quite the soft spot in my heart for that woman, I must say. She's so sweet. She seems like such a sweet lady. Oh, I don't know. There's just, there's just something about her. She just seems like such a sweet soul. So I'm going to be doing her flip and lip, as she likes to call it. Um, and colors I'll be using today... Here, I'm just going to slide this out of the way so it'll be a little bit easier. Is uh, Grumbacher in Prussian Blue. Stick that on the side. Windsor in Newton Windsor Violet. Sorry, I'm like really out of breath for some reason. Don't know what I did. Get those out of the way. Stick my cups up here. Whoop. Now I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm also using 14 karat uh, gold folk art. See, just trying to hold it here long enough so you can actually read it. So this is this is a pretty little fun purple color. This is Artist Loft Titanium White and Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. It's quite pretty. Yeah. Move that one there. This is also Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. This is Artist Loft. Light magenta. This is carbon black. This is the titanium white I just showed you. Get these bottles out of my way. And last but not least, this is um, also folk art. It's aqua more pearlescent paint. I threw out the bottle like six months ago. I have no idea. <laughs> It's gone. It's long gone. I just know I threw it out and it's one of those. So I'm just gonna move these a little bit more out of the way. So I can at least get my canvas back in frame. I'm very happy with one thing. And I must say, it's these jumbo push pins. They make life really easier. They make my set look a lot cleaner so I don't have to use those nasty bars anymore. And now to do the fun part. I'm still gonna leave my canvas out of the way for now. Just cause I'm known to be a little messy. So let's start layering paints. This is the Quinacridone Magenta. Now I'm gonna add gold. And the Windsor Newton Purple. I also don't need that much paint. And I've already added quite a bit. Poop. Ah, oh, then this. Back. Oops. The pearlescent blue. The light purple. one that I mixed, the dioxazine and the titanium white. Now I'm going to add the light magenta. And last, but not least, the Prussian blue. Uh, 
Okay. Now for the fun part. Hoya! And now we wait for the magic to happen. Okay. I didn't almost just fall over. No, not at all. <laughs> so this is the 9 by 12 canvas, just so you know. 9 inch by 12 inch canvas, because... I don't know, some people think feet, and I'm like, this is not feet. If it was nine feet, it wouldn't fit in this room, just saying. <laughs> but that's another story. Uh, so, now, without further ado, As you can tell, my technique is not as refined as Karen's, <laughs> but I'll get there and that's what counts. So, time to torch. Let's see how this uh, spread goes, because I don't- I usually add white paint Ooh. to the bottom. I should have tightened this canvas first. Poop. That's neither here nor there. Um. Usually I put a white base at the bottom, like on the bottom of the canvas before I go and do the flip cup thing. Why are you so like that? Wow. Okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Well, in that way, in this way. Ooh, I didn't get it off the corner, no. Yay. Okay. Oh, come on, I don't have that much paint on there. So I set that down for a second so I can move cups out of the way before I go and like splatter paint in them, knowing my look. Ooh, the pearly paint's starting to come through. Oh. Come on, coverage. Oh. This is scary. <laughs> I know my dramatic noises is not really helping, but it's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Alright, let's see. Eesh. Just getting a little... Eh, no, this still looks great. Let's dump that off. did it. I'm talking to the paint, not myself, by the way. <laughs> I know there might be a big confusion there, but <laughs> just so you know. Alright, touch, 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 touch. I put that way too high up. Go me! Okay. I'm gonna paint the paper real quick. Just joking. Ah, but I did. Okay, don't. My bad. Just do it from up here. It's no big deal. I have no idea what to think about this. I like it a lot. It's very... 
Wow. I managed to paint myself and yet I'm wearing gloves. Go me. Touch it again. So there's a part of me that kind of wants to look into the difference between propane, which is what I'm using, and butane when it comes to cell making, I suppose. Also, speaking of cells and silicone and whatnot, I'm expecting to get better silicone in the mail soon enough, hopefully. Oh, boy, this is quite the difference painting, but I really like it. Well. I hope you liked this flip and lip technique that I tried, inspired by Karen, of course. I really like how this came out. I like how the cells all just decided to pop up. The one thing I'm going to uh, do in the future, though, is continue doing my white base around the cup after I go and put it down, because it just... I feel like too much paint rolled over itself and it got really weird in spots because of that. But whatever. I still love this. It looks so cool. So I hope you like this painting. Like, give it a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below what you think. Share with your friends to spread the love. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.